Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In this video, we are going to see stack ensembling approach, which uses several models to get the prediction. Let's see that. Now let's see how the stack ensembling works. As stack ensembling approach is a supervised learning approach, let's start from the trend test split of the data. So consider that we have a trend test split where trend set comprises of m observations and test set comprises of n observations. Now we consider over here in our example the stack where logistic regression SVM and decision tree are the base estimators and final estimator is random forest hence first of all we start with base estimator being applied or being built on the trend set and also observe one more thing that we are predicting not on the test set this time we are predicting first on the trend set which will generate a particular column well similar such thing can be done with other two base estimators we may be having more base estimators than these now as we have formed these three columns ypred lr ypred svc ypred dtc of logistic regression svc and tree classifier each respectively as each of these are having m observations we can form a data frame or I can say we can concatenate these predictions into a data frame which may compose of m observations let's call this data frame as xtrn pred well with this particular data frame as the set of features we can now build a model on the y train now as you know y train is also of m observations so over here we can have a final estimator that is random forest built on the features as predicted values and the original response variable that is y tree. We store this or we keep this random forest classifier and all these models for our next operation that is the operation on the test set. This is all we do on the trend set. Now let's turn towards the test set. On the test set, as you see, we will not be building any model. We will be predicting on the built models. So earlier logistic regression we had built on the trend set. We are just predicting now on the test set and hence these predictions will be generated. Now these predictions which will be generated as test set being of n observations each of these columns that is predicted values are of n values. Well if you want to have predicted probabilities then you may apply predict proba also over here. Now as we had earlier done in the train set operation we can do the same thing in the test set operation of forming the data frame of these three predicted columns. Let's call this data frame of n observations as x TST pred. Now, the random forest classifier which we had built on the earlier x TRN pred will be now applied over here, or we can predict on this particular test set to generate the final prediction. We are going to see scikit-learn option of stacking. Now, the scikit-learn option of the stacking doesn't really require you to do dot fit on each and every base estimator as well as final estimator separately as well as the dot predict. It also doesn't require you to generate the objects like ypred lr, ypred svc, etc. and also the objects xtrn pred and xtst pred. Well, over here, the stacking class for classifier, it is stacking classifier for regressor, 
it is stacking regressor so this stacking class manages everything let's see that well before we see the code related to stacking classifier in our example let us first of all check with the documentation the documentation states that it uses cross well predict so instead of predict it uses cross well predict the working of cross well predict has been given in my earlier video the link of which will be given in the description box of this particular video so let's proceed with the example over here my particular program is using the version of scikit-learn as 1.3.0 I have made the necessary imports and here is my data set of breast cancer which we had used earlier also in some of the examples over here the features are the Likert scale variables of clump thickness unicell size etc and class is benign or malignant so this is a binary classification example over here we will do first of all the label encoding of the y class that is that particular class column and also let us do the trend test split here is the stack which we had planned okay so to begin with let us first of all instantiate the objects of all these four models so here we instantiate the four models as logistic regression SPM linear well linear we will require to give kernel equal to linear hence now let's run this and now let's form the stack here is the way we have defined the stack over here so I have instantiated the stacking classifier with the estimator specified as logistic SVM and tree over here we require to have list of tuples list of tuples well in a tuple we require to have the string first which identifies that particular object and the object itself and we also as you see we have we are also calling the object of random forest classifier for the option of final estimator now let's use the stack means what we are actually going to fit the models and predict on them so let's do that well as far as only the trend set operations are concerned all the operations will be performed with simply calling dot fit so in other words i mean to say calling the dot fit with all will also call dot predict on the trend set will generate the uh, the xtrn pred like data frame and also will generate the model on the predictions well on the test set we can use this stack to predict in the sense that when we use stack dot predict actually it will it will not only generate the predictions on the base estimators and form the data frame but also generate the final prediction you can also opt for using predict proba instead of predict so let's put everything to use over here we have the stack dot fit on the trend set which generates the stack also the predictions and or the predicted probabilities whatever you want and the evaluation thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do click on the like button and for the next videos from me please do subscribe to my channel thank you